Hello, welcome to the Renegade Gamers channel. I am the Renegade Gamer, um, and uh, we are playing Parasite Eve. This is day five, Evolution, <laughs> and um, we're fixing to go to the museum, and uh, uh, we're going to try to beat the entirety of the museum, and then uh, depending on how long this may take, uh, we will... Well, more than likely, I'll probably make it to be making one last video, and that'll be uh, the finale. Because I got to go back. I'm gonna have to come back here one more time, um, so I can uh, possibly twice. Um, a to drop off some stuff, and B to uh, set myself up for uh, uh, the final battles in the game. So anyway, we're fixing to go to the museum. Ah, uh, the Chocobo. And this probably will be a long video, because day five pretty much is all about combat. Um, you get so much combat in this day, it's, it's not even funny. Uh, I mean, literally, if you compare it to the rest of the game... Wow, there was a graphical glitch. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you compare it to the rest of the game, it's insane how much uh, combat is uh, in it. Uh, who's there? Who's there? Who's that? Who's there? I wonder if I can sign out. <laughs> I still don't know why the hell we signed in. Alright, let's go on in. Find him. T-Rex, good to see you. Here's where we start, that's right. Okay. All the dinosaurs! Yay! And all the dig sites within the U.S. service and uh, we lived in Germany and uh, hey uh, we used to go to a museum in there and it was a, it was a dinosaur museum and uh, I don't know I, I don't where I live now uh, we don't have that and uh, kind of missed it Now, the reason I added the frost attacks to it is because uh, dinosaurs are uh, weak to frost. Or are weak to ice, rather. It can make your life a lot easier through this dungeon. How the hell did those dinosaurs get here? 
interesting what mitochondria can do when you think about it. The fact that it can uh, literally uh, bring the dead back to life. Um, or, well, bring, uh, well, I, yeah, I guess it is the dead back to life. Let's it say it's locked. More dinosaurs! Yay! Good to see y'all. Y'all ready for extinction? <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. I hate these little le leaper types. They're kind of a pain to use. And we're gonna heal real fast. Hell out of dodge. Shit. That's the big ones out of the way. Alright, there we go. And, uh. Oh, cool. We, we leveled up. Got medic. That's that. You can keep the junk. Like I said, if I decide to go through the Chrysler Tower, um, I will get all the junk and everything off screen. I will not put y'all through the, the hellacious uh, task of acquiring 300 junk. <laughs> Because that is just long, tedious, and uh, boring as hell, so yeah. <laughs> no, that didn't work exactly as I thought it would. Alright. We're going after the Weepers first. Because they're a pain in the ass. Because I can actually dodge this guy. Go ahead and heal up. This is a very long dungeon. And uh, I actually like the dungeon music a lot in this. Come on, Fido. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Now die. Good boy. You're such a good boy. And all we need is the ammo out of that. See, sometimes when you go into these rooms, uh, they will change afterwards uh, when you come back out. Oh, I did miss some. Um, medicine four is good too. Uh, anyway, you walk out and then you come back in, and the room's destroyed because the dinosaurs have destroyed it, and uh, you're able to acquire some new items because of that. Doesn't happen all the time, just some areas. This part. Let's see. It's gonna ask me a bunch of questions. Uh, if I remember right, it's nine. Yep. Any other brain quizzes you wanna ask me? No? Just nine, okay. Yeah, if you get these right, you get a uh item. 
some of them real good though. I know you can get a revive from one of them. I just don't remember which one. Obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. Probably not. Alright, ask me the question. Come on, ask me the question. What was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Uh, it was nitrogen. I have a <laughs> something that's funny is uh, I read about a guy online. He uh, took the information he learned about from uh, this game and uh, wrote a paper and uh, passed <laughs> his uh, um, science class he had at the time. So. Of course, like any good, uh, you know, science fiction, it's only a couple of steps away from reality. That hurts. Gotcha. Yeah, unfortunately, the ice doesn't help at all with the uh, scorpions. But we're not going to be fighting with a few of them, so... and the uh, Allosaurus. Okay, 
Okay, we're down to two. That's good. Down to one. Even better. Leveled up. Yeah, it's a good area to level up in. Enemies here give quite a bit of experience. Uh, which is good because this is the last, the, uh, the DVD last dungeon of the game. So, And that has another frost chill on it. But I already got one, so not a big deal. Ah, the room with the giant heads. Yeah, I remember this place. No, if I remember right, you can't do anything in here yet. Wait, what was that noise? to a new enemy in just a second. A very annoying enemy. The uh, armadillos. These bastards can be a real pain in your ass. Shit, shit, shit. See, that's their attack is basically to roll at you like a car, so you gotta get out of their, their way. And they're not way too bad, but they can be a pain in the ass, so. Use one of these. That way, open 
mitochondria create ATP within the cell. How much energy is the equivalent to? Uh, I think it's 200,000 volts per cubic centimeter. Yep, got some ammo. It's always a good time. Got a box here. to our armor. Defense. Take it. Thank you. That to the armor. And then we'll get in the fight. Yay! With two of these bastards. Ah, 
their ATV bar fills up real fast. <laughs> hey, look how many times he's rolling here. Oh, he died. I feel so bad for him. No, wait, no, I don't. Yeah, no, revive's a good one. Basically, it's auto life. Dun, dun, dun. Nineteen years to release the theory state humans were which organisms start to be in a country. That would be an African female. I'll take that revive and I'll damn heartbeat. Uh, just gotta find something to get rid of first. Have that. We're out of space, I'll go ahead and just use one of these. Alright, let's see. Hey. Yay, another roly poly and leapers. It's my two fucking favorite en enemies. It's a charge attack to get other enemies. Oh, whatever. Die, roly poly. We don't take kind of you upon our enemy. No, I don't want the damn junk. Hold on. Get out of my fucking inventory. If I want junk, I'll go grind for it. Shit. I don't even know where this goes. That's locked, so we can't go that way. I guess I'll go this way. Now oh, this looks like an area I get in a fight with. Oversized chicken. Well, oh, you taste deep fried. And he likes to shoot out ice, huh? This is uh, how you do ice, my friend. Like that. The yacht. Try to level up to uh, 99 in this game. It takes forever. The 
main reason is, is uh, if I remember right, to get out of the 30s, um, you'll, you'll gain levels pretty fast, uh, all the way up to, I think it's 36, and then it just all of a sudden just plummets, uh, uh, or it, it takes forever to get to over uh, uh, the next couple of humps. But I think once you pass, uh, I think it's level 39, uh, the, the uh, experience starts going back down about what you need for a level. Kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it takes a long time to get past like level 36 in this game, if I remember right. I'm near level 2, so no, don't. That sucks.
Okay, that's not where I am.
Oh shit. I was kind of wanting to finish this tonight, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Just keep going for a little bit.
try to control that. However, it has to be said that anyone can and it would have to be her. Oh yay! Just one more to fight. I'm going with Foley's.
games that everybody likes that. I don't. Um, you want an example of that? I'm not a fan of the, the Dragon Age. Uh, well, I played it. It's fine. That's not really what I was thinking about. Uh, Fallout. I don't like Fallout. <laughs> I don't care for Skyrim. I don't care for Oblivion. Um, not my, not my kind of game. Even though it's an RPG, it's not my kind of RPG. I like. Thank you. I 
guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. And I get Mage's gun. When I attack power one. Great. <laughs> and I have to sacrifice something for it. Perfect. Uh, Oh yeah, because each one of them has something on them and one I came across some findings, mm, yes? First of all, there was blood sermon. There was blood serum with Maya's name labeled on in the freezer. My sister's name? And well the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? Then Eve really is. It appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What What for? I, I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been cultivating them for years. Why do I sound Russian? <laughs> Can't pull a Japanese accent. <laughs> <coughs> oh, recently! It appears he is conducting research on our official sperm. For Eve, of course. For Eve? Uh, yes, he wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without the mitochondria. Yes, he took the uh, sperm that he created here and he moved it to the hospital. Then, he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then, what was the HLA list for? Professor Clamp! You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringlinger of ring leader of this operation. What you did, this isn't something you think you can get away with, you understand? <laughs> you are pathetic, Freya. Why put yourself in human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless! Do you understand? <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it? I am. <laughs> Say all you want, but I'm here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. <laughs> I'm not letting you interfere with Eve, you hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! And Daniel punches the shit out of him. Good. Sorry, I like to voice act uh, bad guys. <laughs> Daniel, thanks. I, I didn't see the scalpel. Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. It just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Ugh. He's conscious again. Dallas to the rescue. Officer Dallas, why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you want to say, huh? Of course I hate you! Because of you, Lorraine's... Lorraine? So I see that your boy managed to escape. I should have killed you way back. Someday, 
You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. What are you planning to do, Professor? <laughs> You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother. But you see, traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. Minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant. How can that be possible? Damn, man, we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. <laughs> you women are so weak. So stupid. You may have been able to barge in here and do you things your way until now, but things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait anymore. I'm ready. What? What the hell are you talking about? Daniel, made it work. She's going to blow the whole place up. acting with uh, Clamp, but like I said, I like to voice act uh, bad guys a lot. <laughs> um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, hopefully you found this entertaining, um, or at least uh, you learned something about Parasite Eve a little bit, as far as the combat goes. Um, I don't really have anything else, so uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, y'all take it easy, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.